So this is what Mr. McNice is currently driving and he can't wait to get out of it. It's a electric blue Honda HHR and he's not a big fan of it. As you can tell, look at the face he's making. You don't like this vehicle, do you? It's all right, but I mean- It's not your, not your taste. No, it's, no. It's, it's, Yeah, he doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> So Dave is testing out the EV6 from Kia in a beautiful interstellar gray color. Nice big bold display here. Like super futuristic guys. And we're trying to get out on the test drive and we're just sitting here. Now I'm pushing Gottlieb to go with the EV6. You know, you buy a car every so often. It's got the one pedal drive, yeah. And you'll get used to that. So one pedal drive in an electric vehicle, when you take your foot off the brake, there's like a braking mechanism, like motor brake, I guess, that regenerates power back to the batteries. It's sort of like a rubber band feeling. And when you're new to driving that, it can be a little funky, but I love it. Enjoy your new vehicle, David. We're going to want to get out. And I want to get some shots of it, too. So maybe the parking lot of the Barnes & Noble so I can really go to town on this vehicle. So we've opened up the what would typically be a frunk in other EVs. There's not that much storage here. It looks like there's battery systems and motor elements let's go back over here let's take a look at the front of the vehicle very nice really really nice i've got the back seats down and you have lots of storage space in here Comfortable? Yeah, very comfortable. You take it? What? You gonna take it? I don't know. <laughs> really, really super nice car. If I were in the market for an EV, this would be the one I think I would get. So if I were in the mood or market, I am in the mood, but I'm not in the market. For an EV, the EV6 from Kia would be the way I would go, guys. It's just beautiful. Interstellar gray, has a nice sleek design to it. It's lovely. Makes me feel like getting back into the car game. I mean, I gotta be doing more car reviews. Maybe we'll talk to Angelo when we get back and see if he'd be willing, the salesman, to do some videos with me because I think these Kias are just beautiful. Look at that. He's so pissed at me right now. So I'm fucking up his economics. I'm fucking up his economics. He's like, he wants to go with the Nero. And I'm giving him like a better option. It's gonna cost him more. A little slow. So you sold? Yep. Are you so? <laughs> you're, you're so pissed at me. I know you're pissed at me for making it, for making this a hard decision. But at the end of the day, you know what to do. You're fiscally responsible, Dave. Like me, you're financially secure because you make the right choices all the time. That's it. Beautiful. All right, so I guess we'll head back to Kia. This has been a nice ride. I thank you for bringing me along. All right. I've come away thoroughly impressed. I'll be honest with you. Really nice. The interior, the fit and finish is great. I had a conversation with a guy in Florida. He says he's retired 
and he said, and I'll leave that interview with him. I'll connect it to this video. He said, for a retired guy, he doesn't have places to be. He doesn't, he's not in a rush. It's a beautiful and perfect car. And the reasons he said would be a problem if you're on the go and you need to be places is the charging. Infrastructure is not 100% there. So if you're going long distances and for business and you're getting low, finding charging stations is one of the big issues that he has. Other than that, everything about the car he loves. So hope you've enjoyed this video. We'll see what Mr. Make Nice decides to do. We'll show you his new car whenever he gets it and we'll see you later. <laughs> so now we are in the Kia Nero. And this is a little bit more in, I think, Mr. Make Nice's wheelhouse right here. It's a little bit smaller. This is the full EV. We're going to get out, take a look. Yeah, put it, yep. Is that a P? Yeah. Oh, very nice. Look at that. Black leather and cloth or faux leather and cloth very nice why don't you step in the back and see see how the back Let's see if you like that oh nice yeah how do you feel Good. all right i'm assuming same scenario look at that Lots of space, Dave. Yeah. Let's take a look at the back. Again, this looks like interstellar gray, which is a popular color. And lots of space here. I love it. Lots of space. Let's walk around here. Here's your cockpit. Very, very nice. It's a smart, it's smart smart design it looks nice let's see if there's any room in the front or if it's similar to the ev6 similar to ev6 you got a little spot there to put like maybe a charger and things of that nature and you've got your batteries and your motor drive Really nice. Nice looking vehicle. All right, let's do a little walk around. I'm loving this design here. Beautiful. A little gray on gray on gray. Guys, gray is my favorite color. This interstellar gray is beautiful. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Now the decision is whether or not he decides to go with this full EV model or if he goes with the plug-in. I know he's more comfortable with the plug-in hybrid. So let's see what Mr. Make Nice decides to do. But I'll tell you what, any way you slice it today, he can't go wrong. These are two really awesome vehicles with EV options or hybrid plug-in technology, which is what Mr. Make Nice wants to do. Let's go see what he's decided. My name's Andrew. I'm over here at Smithtown Kia. I just want to say congratulations to Mr. David on his new purchase, uh, 2024 EV Nero. It's beautiful. Congratulations, Dave. There's Gottlob's new vehicle. The man is ready. <laughs> All right, man. We'll see you later. Thank you.